Hey everyone, welcome to this Tosca automation playlist. And we have been talking about a lot of different features which are available with Tosca API Scan. In this session, I'm going to talk about another interesting feature which is called the message recorder. Okay, and this message recorder, it basically helps you to basically record the traffic between your system and the test and the backend. Whenever you are running any tests or even if you are interacting with your browser and going to some other website, right? So any kind of API calls which are happening in your website or in your system under test that will be captured by this message recorder and then you can visualize and analyze the traffic as API messages. Okay. So uh, this particular feature is available on the top bar. As you can see, this is called the record option. And when you click on this, it will open the message recorder window. Okay, so in this message recorder window, there is a start and stop button through which you can start this recording session. And then uh, there is a clear all, which will basically clear all the messages which are already present. The configure option is basically present to configure any proxy uh, username, password, and address. You can also decrypt the HTTPS traffic. Okay. And then um, the export option, which is basically it will export the messages which we have recorded into API scan. Okay. So let's see um, how this particular feature or tool works uh, in Tosca and how you can capture API messages as traffic during your execution or during your interaction with the browser. Okay. So now uh, I'm going to start this particular recorder. So it will start message tracing and let's start this and you will get a stop icon right here okay so you can stop at any time right now as you can see there are no messages which are being recorded right now but what we'll do is uh, we'll go here to tosca commander and now um, i will execute one of my test cases which is for the vehicle insurance page which is open here okay so let's go here and i'm going to run in scratch book so any kind of interactions with any application, okay, if any API messages are being transmitted, it will basically uh, record that or basically capture that and display it here, okay? Let the execution complete. And then we will see what API messages has been captured uh, until now, okay? So now um, I'm going to come back to the recorder and you will see that there is only one uh, message which has been captured. That could be also the case when you click on it, okay? Uh, you will get all the information right here um, and also here on different windows, okay? Maybe it is not using um, any particular API uh, and this application is mostly front-end that's why you are only able to see these uh, HTTP requests, right? But if you have got some backend functionality and it is used as an API, then you will basically see that captured here, okay? It will show the result, it will show the host, uh, URL, content type, and the process as well, right? Um, also, what you can do is uh, if I come back here, right, and I start interacting with this application on my own, not running any test, still um, it will be captured on the API recorder or on the message recorder, right? So if I click on this view code, it is basically a backend process, okay, because it will be uh, calculating or it will be capturing some data and it will generate this document, okay? Now, if I go back here, you will see that there is another message now which has been captured. Content type is application PDF, okay? And the result was also 200. So you can basically analyze your traffic um, as API messages and you can visualize them um, as you are interacting with your application or even if you are running your tests in the background. So it's a very useful feature in terms of that, right? I can always go ahead and clear uh, this um, all these messages which are captured here. Now uh, let's stop this recorder, okay? And now uh, we have stopped the recorder and now we can export these messages into your API scan. Okay, so if I click on export, you will see it will create a folder here called trace underscore import. And then um, it will capture this message that this PDF scope 
uh, .pdf. This was the payload. This was the endpoint, and this was the resource. Okay. Uh, basically, I should have um, actually selected both the messages. Okay. Otherwise, it won't be exported. So now you can see there are two folders created for two different messages. Okay. And now if I come back here, I can go ahead and clear this all these messages which are captured here. And again, I can start and I can start a recording. Okay. So this way, even if um, you are not aware of some API messages which are happening in the background for your application, and you are you know that it is using an API, you can capture this API messages in this way. And you can start um, capturing those API messages right here. And then you can create your own test cases. You can start verification. Even if the developers have not provided you with the exact API messages, you can still figure out what are the API messages using this record feature. So it's quite a useful feature. Uh, if you are starting to uh, work on some new API development uh, for your application and you want to test your APIs, then this could be a useful feature. Okay. So that's all for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you learned something new about API testing using Tosca. Do tune into our channel uh, for more uh, similar videos. We'll be talking about lots of different topics related to Tosca and other automation tools. So hopefully uh, you can uh, benefit from these free videos which are available on our channel. Also, please subscribe to our channel uh, if you have not already so that you get notified about each and every new video which we post on our channel. So that's all for now. Until next time, keep learning um, and keep enjoying our videos uh, at our channel. Thank you.